All right, ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? It's your boy MC Chaz, and you know how we do it. It's definitely a wonderful day that the Lord has made today. Listen, very quickly, um, I want to address the situation of um, Donald Trump. And of course, a lot of people are going to make videos, okay? Some videos will have impact. Some videos will come from people that actually have sense, and some will come from people that don't have sense. But let me tell you something. I am a Nigerian living here in the United States, and if I tell you that I am upset at Donald Trump, for his statement, I will be lying. What do they say about change? The first step to change is acceptance. Nigeria is indeed a shithole. It is what it is. So I don't even understand why our people are upset. Let me tell you something. A country where its workers have not been paid in months is a shithole country. A country where its security system cannot protect lives, yet actually take lives, is a shithole country. A country where you pay for power and you don't get that power, no light supply, is a shithole country. A country where the price of food is becoming unbearable for the citizens with no due process whatsoever is a shithole country. A country where the justice system can be manipulated by certain people who have money, power and influence is a shithole country. A country where the poor, the larger masses do not have a say is a shithole country. A country where its president accepts that its citizens are criminals is a shithole country. A country where people are dying every day because of hunger is a shithole country. A country where people go to school, get degrees and masters, and come out to no jobs is a shithole country. Oh my goodness, a country where an individual who has worked so hard in school with a master's degree ends up driving Uber or ends up driving taxi is a shithole country. So my people, what are you talking about? If your country was not a shithole, I bet you we would not be in the United States of America. We would not be in UK. We would not be in Malaysia. We would not be in Italy. We will be back in our countries. So if you are hurt or if you are offended by what a racist man, a man who doesn't like black people, a man who has made it so clear, a man who is totally arrogant, I must agree that this time around he said the truth. If you're offended, let's join hands and fix our shithole countries. I am not speaking for any other country because I don't know. The one I know is the one I'm speaking about. Nigeria with its great potentials, with its substance, is a shithole at this moment. And if you want to vex, vex. For those of you who live in the United States, my God, don't let me start with you. Those of you who have not been to Nigeria in a while. Those of you who don't know the current situation of Nigeria. But you are always the first person to come and type some nonsense and attack some individual. My brother, it is not today that America has not always supported black people. We didn't see it today. It has been here even before some of us migrated or some of us were born into this system. So if you're hot, forget Facebook, forget Instagram, forget about going to declare what it is that you are and what profession that you are, whether you're a doctor that is saving lives in America, whether you're a pharmacist that is saving lives in America, my brother and sister. It is good to save lives and I thank you so much. But please, what are we doing to fix our fucking shithole country? If you're not doing anything, do not be upset. As for me, Chance, I know what I'm doing. I'm on my way back to my country to go and fix the little that I can fix one step at a time. If we are 500,000 people from the diaspora, whether it is America, London, Malaysia, wherever you are, if we join hands, use technology, use our professions, some of us have gone to school, some of us are very educated, some of us are very well to do. If we come together, and one step at a time, begin to fix things, begin to turn things around. I bet you, in no time, no man, whether white or black, will come out and call African nations shithole. But for now, it is the truth. The truth is bitter, but we must accept it. Bye.